Yo, what's up guys? It's the North, and today I thought I would show you two games in my collection of the same series that I feel like is a series that 100% deserves the acclaim it gets. So, a lot of you will have heard of the series known as Yakuza. It is a RPG um, based in Japan, or you play as a member of the Japanese Mafia. Now, as of recent, there have been different protagonists, but the main protagonist of the series is obviously Kazuma Kiryu, or most people refer to him as just Kiryu. Um, and I own two games from this series physically. Now, a lot of you who have played Yakuza will know there's a lot of history behind this series. There are like... God, I don't know how many games there are. There's like... Eight games in the series, maybe even like ten. Uh, there's a lot, right? However, I only own two of them because I am just starting out as a collector. I mean, I own 68 physical copies of games, so I I feel like I'm just starting out. Um, but I own two copies, both on the PS4, and they're both PlayStation Hits versions because they have the right cases, um, and they are Yakuza Zero, which is basically like a prologue to the entire series. And then we have Yakuza Kiwami, which is a PS4 remake of the first game on the PS2. Now, as you can see, um, the, the copy I have of Yakuza Kiwami is sealed, um, because growing up I was taught that if you have a sealed copy of a video game, keep it sealed until you actually plan to play it. So, um, I already, like, loaded up. Yakuza 0 just to see what it was like and I gotta say judging by the intro it looks absolutely stunning um, but I haven't played Kiwami yet I'll probably finish 0 before I play Kiwami because I want to keep the sealed for as long as possible um, but yeah I mean the, ser the Yakuza series gets a lot of love and it 100% deserves the love it gets I mean I've seen a lot of people say that Yakuza 0 is the best game they've ever played which, I guess I could see that. I mean, it is a popular game. Um, it's more popular in Japan. Um, however, there have been some Yakuza games that um, have sold just as much in Japan as they did in the U.S. Um, like, equal sales numbers in both countries. So, um, yeah, there's, there's games that sell, like, equally. Um, however, it definitely is a more popular series in Japan, which I'm kind of surprised that you know, the re I'm surprised that the real-life Yakuza allows the Japanese uh, media um, industry to like make video games about them, and that are and that are and they're kind of like a lot of you who play Yakuza will know the Yakuza games are kind of like comedic at times. So I'm surprised that the Yakuza allows the Japanese gaming industry to like make games about the Yakuza that are, like, comedic at times. Um, I'm surprised they, um... I mean, it's Japan, so really anything could happen, and to be honest, Japan is the only country where something like that could happen. You know, any other country's mafia would shut down the whole place if that happened. Like, I know the American mafia would, um... They would start putting a lot more people on their hit list if an American video game company made... A game about the American Mafia. Uh, but Japan is built different. I mean, the people of Japan, like, as you know, Japan is one of the top ten most peaceful countries in the world. And Japan is the most peaceful country in the world with a population over of 100 million people. So without a doubt, I'd say that Japan has its ways. And I feel like, you know, it's better not to question it because they do have their own style of life. And I feel like, you know, it's not really something to be questioned. But, you know, it is what it is. So yeah, um, hope you guys enjoyed, um, just me introducing you to a little bit of a collection. Like I said, if you own a physical copy of a game and it's sealed, uh, make sure to keep it sealed until the very day you play it because that way if you plan to sell it, you can get more money for it because, um, a lot of people, if you, a lot of people when they get games, they like open it immediately when they get it and that's not really a healthy thing to do. Because that way you're gonna you're gonna I don't know I just I feel like I feel like games are better if you save them for the very moment you play them like I don't like it when I just open games immediately because I feel like it's a little bit wasteful of the packaging I mean yeah there are still a lot of older games that are like still um, manufactured um, but 
you know, it, 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 it's, it's at the point where, like, it might as well keep it sealed. Um, because physical copies are going out of style slowly but surely, and you gotta keep it alive as much as possible because you gotta, you gotta keep the dream alive for as long as it possibly can. So, yeah, I mean, hope you guys are also Yakuza fans. I mean, I don't know how many Yakuza fans are in my comment section, but hopefully there are enough that this video gets uh, quite a few views. Um, yeah. I own two Yakuza games physically. I'm looking to get more. I'm probably going to buy East 9 Monstrum Knox before I buy another Yakuza game, but 100% I would recommend the Yakuza series to all of you. I mean, it's an amazing series without a doubt. And uh, yeah, so thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always, stay chill, everyone.